What up, Snapchat fam? How's it going? It is great to be back in my home state of Florida. Shout out to anyone that came up from either Fort Lauderdale or Jacksonville. Yeah, yeah. So today I'm going to talk to you guys about Snapchat for creators. I want to do a very quick poll to know who's in the audience. Who in this room is on Snapchat? Look around. And who in the room is a creator on Snapchat that's looking to make some money? <laughs> a lot of you guys, right? So today what I'm going to do is I'm going to share with you guys what I've learned over the last couple of years of being on Snapchat. I'm going to teach you guys how you can be much more effective in working with brands. And I want to give myself a quick plug. Be sure to add me on Snapchat, the Carlos Skill. So a little bit about myself, guys. I've worked in marketing now in social media for almost 10 years. I've worked for both B2C and B2B brands. I started up social media for a company you guys might know here in Florida by the name of Winn-Dixie. And during this time in which I've started influencer marketing programs and ran strategy, and I've spoken all over the world on the topic of social media and Snapchat, there's one thing that's constant that I've learned. And that social media evolution is inevitable. And the reason why social media evolution is inevitable is because of the people, because of you guys in this room. Because as the people evolve, the platforms and the audience on those platforms, they evolve too. And if you don't believe me, just ask AOL and MySpace. What happens when the platforms don't evolve with the people? Now with that being said, I get asked this question all the time. Why should my company be on Snapchat? And as creators, as influencers, as brands in the room, these are questions that you are going to be asked. And this is a very important question. And here's the reason why. This is a Rubik's Cube that you see, OK? Social media today is very fragmented. No one is loyal to any platform anymore. And don't think as a brand, just because you have all these followers on Facebook, they're paying attention on Facebook. Because the reality is that most people use social networks to hang out with their homies and not follow brands. I want to know who woke up this morning and went on Facebook just to see a sponsored post? Anyone? No. So because social media is so fragmented, you've seen this monumental shift in which you have millennials, they're crossing over to Snapchat. In fact, Snapchat in a single day reaches 41% of all 18 to 34 year olds in the United States, which is a big majority of the population who's using social media. And the reason why Snapchat has become a thing amongst millennials is for a few key reasons. One, it's highly addictive. Who doesn't like going on Snapchat and seeing what their friends are posting, the lenses that they're using, the filters in their area? It's easy to use. You don't have those sponsored posts in your feed. Also, it's what I like to call brand free, because the reality is this. If you want to escape Facebook or Twitter because you don't want to see brands, you go to Snapchat because you can still hang out with your homies, create content. Now, with that being said, here's what Snapchat is not. Because there's a big misconception from what I've heard from my peers, which are brand marketers and CMOs at companies all over the world. And they have a very big misconception of Snapchat. And this is what you're going to face as you're going out trying to work with brands. The first thing is they will always say that Snapchat is only for teens and for college students. And I call BS on that. And the reason why is because of the data. 77% of users on Snapchat are above the age of 18. Who buys products? First of all, who buys products? People have money, right? Kids who are 13 to 18, they ask their parents for money. So don't disregard the teenagers out there that are on social media. But when you look at these demographics and you see where it's skewing, again, brands want to go ahead and be able to reach consumers that have money to buy their products. Snapchat is starting to skew a little older, just like we saw Facebook do. You will often hear from marketers that they say that the UI is difficult to navigate. Now, we have a lot of people in the room that are on Snapchat. How difficult is it to swipe up, down, left, and right? That's how you use Snapchat. It's not difficult at all. You will also hear that there's no way to measure ROI, along with my audience isn't on Snapchat. And let's address elephant in the room. You will also hear from a lot of people that say that Snapchat is a sexting app. Now here is what Snapchat really is, guys. It's a legit marketing channel. And if you don't believe me, simply look at Gatorade for inspiration. Last year during the Super Bowl and this year during the Super Bowl, Gatorade ran a sponsored lens throughout the US. 
more people through Snapchat saw Gatorade's branding through this lens than the number of people who actually saw the Super Bowl itself. Now here's again what Snapchat is not. Snapchat is not another network to sell things. I know that brands at the end of the day, their end game is to sell product. Our end game as creators, and as marketers too, should be to go ahead and create community. It's a very important distinction. Now with that being said, this is the audience that you're selling to for the marketers and the brands in the room and anyone watching the live stream right now. This is who you're selling to on Snapchat. It's many of you in the room. It's this person. It's this person as well. And if you want to engage this audience, believe you me, guys, you cannot be hitting them over the head every single day with a sales pitch. You just can't. So there's three challenges that brands face. And this is where, as creators and as marketers, this is exactly where you come into play. The first is, who are they trying to reach? Who are these brands trying to reach and get in front of? The second challenge is, how am I going to reach them? Because as you know, Snapchat is not as intuitive as Facebook or on Twitter. You can't just upload a mailing list and all of a sudden find all these users on there. You actually have to work for it. You actually have to create content to drive people over to want to stay engaged on your Snapchat. And then third is, how am I going to go ahead and keep this audience engaged? So again, start thinking as a creator, this is the problem or the challenge that you really need to help brands solve as you're looking to work with them. Because folks, marketing on Snapchat is not marketing. Let's get rid of this word marketing. It's product storytelling. The most successful brands today, the most successful creators, period, are the ones that are integrating product into their Snapchat stories. I'll tell you this because I've done influencer campaigns. I'm very loyal to the brands that I wear, Kohan Shoes, I fly Southwest Airlines, I stay at MGM Resorts. These are the brands that are already embedded and integrated into my DNA as a creator, as a storyteller. So again, product storytelling, not marketing. Three key points to the content that you create. One, and this is for brands or creators or anyone who's looking to grow their presence on Snapchat. Your content should be either fun, creative, or educational. It should fall into one of, one of those three categories. Fun, creative, and educational. Does anyone here know who this is? DJ Khaled, right? Keys to success, bless up. This is why DJ Khaled gets over three million views per snap. And this is why DJ Khaled is one of the most successful Snapchatters out there today. You guys know why? Because he's real. Because DJ Khaled lets you in and he is fun, he's creative. He's showing you a glimpse that you don't see for many celebrities and you don't see for many people. Which is why I say every brand should be more like DJ Khaled and less like a brand. Let's analyze the word brand for a second. What is a brand? A brand is a logo. That's it. It's a logo. People do not go on social media to talk to a logo. They go on social media to talk to people. Without people, there is no social media. Good luck to all the brands out there if you just want to hang out and post out content and not build community, because no one's going to consume it. That's real talk. So with that being said, going back to why every brand should be more like DJ Khaled, why every creator should be more like DJ Khaled, it's about being real. It's about being authentic. Now here's your role as a creator. First, it's to tell the brand's story from your point of view. Again, think back to product storytelling. And you see here an example on the screen, Sean Ayala is a really good friend of mine. And Sean has worked with several notable brands out there, Lexus, San Diego Chargers, amongst other brands out there. And the reason why brands work with creators like yourselves and like with Sean is because they're able to tap into a skill set that most marketers naturally don't have, and that's creative storytelling. That's the ability to draw. It's the ability to create content, keep people engaged. Because trust me, if you give most marketers one of these and you say, just go talk, they don't know what to do. So that is where the creator comes in. So first, tell the brand's story from your point of view. Second is leverage existing social media channels. I get asked from fellow creators who don't necessarily have a big presence yet on Snapchat, how can I work with brands if I'm not all in on Snapchat, but I have, a, I have a blog with a mailing list. I have a website that has traffic. I have a Facebook page. I have a live stream on Periscope. I have all these people that are watching. 
Leverage your existing channels. Because brands face the same challenge. When a brand joins Snapchat, they don't have a lot, they don't have any followers. So I advise brands to use their own existing social media channels to drive people over to Snapchat. And as you're doing things like brand takeovers, like you see here the example on the screen with Sephora or with Chegg, you can go ahead and leverage, and you should look to leverage your existing social media channels to drive people over to Snapchat. Same thing with product demos. You see here an example on the screen from Sephora. For Black Friday, they went ahead and they showcased their Black Friday sales a day early exclusively on Snapchat. Now, major keys to Snapchat for every creator in the house. The first is keep your stories between two to three minutes. Each snap is as long as 10 seconds and it's as short as one. So keep your stories relatively short, easy to digest, easy to consume. Today's average consumer has a very, very short attention span. And the biggest difference between Snapchat and YouTube and Facebook is because content is short. And that's what keeps people coming back in addition to originality. The next is look to mix in takeovers with brand content if you're a brand. So if you're a brand and you go on Snapchat every single day and you're just posting product and you're just telling people why they should buy from you, you are going to fail, I guarantee you. So look to tap into your advocates, creators. Look to tap in to how you can have others tell your story for you through your account. The next is keep content fresh and updated often. I get asked this question all the time from fellow brand marketers, how often should we be posting on Snapchat? And my answer to them is always, as long as your content is creative and it's engaging, post every single day. The key though is storyboard your content out, and this applies for everyone in the room. Have a beginning, a middle, and an end. And most importantly, keep people coming back for more. Give them the hook. The next is give exclusive VIP offers or run 24-hour flash sales. So go out. Find the brands that you already shop with and you do business with. Find brands out there that need help getting the word out on Snapchat and give an exclusive offer that's only good for 24 hours. And follow that up with coupon codes or tracking URLs that you can measure. Because the biggest thing for a brand, guys, is ROI. Okay, return on investment. They wanna know how is Snapchat gonna drive the needle for sales and help them grow as a business. And the way to measure that is by using tra exclusive tracking URLs. So like if you're Nike, it would be nike.com forward slash snap or snap.nike.com, where anyone that visits that URL you know came from Snapchat. Or give out coupon code exclusively on Snapchat so you know anyone that purchased from that brand's website came from Snap. And again, make sure that you're leveraging your other social media channels. So if you're a blogger or creator in the room and you have, again, website traffic, you have an email list, leverage those assets so when you do do a brand takeover, you can let your mailing list or your website or your followers on other channels know. Most importantly, guys, have fun. We are living right now in one of the greatest eras of mankind, where if you are a brand or if you are a creator, you have an opportunity to shift community management. You have an opportunity to shift how brands tell their story. Because once again, as this younger generation, millennials and Gen Z, start to tap in more and more with Snapchat, they're tuning out less from brands on Facebook. So it's really important that as you're jumping on Snapchat as a brand or as a career, you're having as much fun as you possibly can because this, my friends, is not Facebook. The battle, the battle between Instagram and Snapchat. So I get asked this question every single day. Should we be on Instagram using stories or should we be on Snapchat? And the answer is you should be on both. Unless you are compensated by one of these entities, okay, it's about your community. Have loyalty to your community, not the platforms. The platforms can go away tomorrow. Look at Vine, look at Meerkat, look at all these platforms that have gone away. The platforms can go away tomorrow. So use these platforms to build a community. And as long as you're building a community, trust me, your community will follow you on to the next. Spectacles. Make sure you guys get a hold of Spectacles because there's something that Spectacles offers you as creators and as brands, and that's the opportunity to document from a first person point of view. This, my friends, is the future. Wearable tech, this is the future of how contents can be created. So I highly encourage you to get ahead of the learning curve today. 
And my last point, friends, is there's no instant ROI on social media. Whether you're a brand or creator, you're going to get on, you're going to get frustrated, because right away people aren't necessarily watching and engaging, but you have to be consistent. Consistency wins this game. Look at it as a long-term strategy in which your objective needs to be how do I grow, how do I engage, and then once that's done successfully, how do I convert? Thank you, guys. Take care.